Hi, everyone. My name is Beth Kumar. I'm one of the librarians at the GTU Library. I just wanted to take a couple minutes and show you some options about um, theses and dissertations. So if you're interested in looking at um, other students' theses and dissertations, we have a, a few different ways that you can do that. First of all, um, I am on the library homepage. So this is gtu.edu slash library. We've put in a couple shortcuts. Of course, if you know the person's name um, or the title of their thesis or dissertation, you could put that in the search and you would find it right away. But sometimes you don't know, you just want, want to browse. In our advanced catalog search, we put in a couple shortcuts over here on the side. So we have a link here for GTU theses and dissertations. And this includes all of them from all the member schools. And then we have um, DMIN theses only, because sometimes the DMIN students want to look at those as a separate search. So let me just show you what that looks like. So when I click on this first one, it's loading. It's going to bring up these. And we keep for all the programs that write theses and dissertations, we keep two copies in the library. So you'll see one copy, it says GTU, and this is the call number. So you can go down to um, th that shelf and get a copy of it. And then we keep another copy offsite in what we call the thesis cage. And so this is kind of, you can th think of it like our backup copy so that we always have another copy in here. And these are just in alphabetical order. You can see I have more than 6,000 of them that are coming up um, and, and they are arranged on the shelf by topic. So they will be with other books of their topic um, when you go down there. So like this one's in the HV section. If you go down, we have some HQ, BM, BL, PN. You can see where, you know, these are spread out in the library with other topics um, that are similar. If I go back, I can do the same thing with demon theses only. So now I'm going to get similar things. Um, there were some other stuff at the top, but you can see some of these are at SFTS. That's our branch library. A few of them, we only have one copy. That's an older, some of the older ones, you might just see one copy. We have some that are in storage, for example, like this one is in storage. But if you have specific questions about any of these theses, you can chat a librarian and we can help you find them. I'm going to go back to the library homepage. Okay, so that is um, physical theses and dissertations that we have in the library. For many of the newer ones, we have those online. So not all of them have been digitized, but for, for many of our um, dissertations and theses, we have an online copy too, in addition to the print copies. There are two different ways to go in and get these. You can go search electronic resources. And if you scroll down, you're going to see two different databases about theses. So this one is ProQuest and, and Dissert ProQuest Dissertations and Theses Global. So this, as it sounds, is huge. Um, this is a database that includes the GTU dissertations and theses, but also ones from all over the world. So you can see it says more than 5 million theses and dissertations are in this database. You can log in and you can do a search on your topic and you can find students all over the world that have written on similar topics. We also have a separate database that is just the GTU schools. So if you scroll down, this is an A to C list, you can find GTU ProQuest dissertations and theses. So this is a much smaller subset of the global database. Now, when you log in, I've already logged in today, but you can log in um, using your student ID number or barcode and pin number. If you're not sure about those, just chat a librarian, we can help you um, set that up if you've never set that up before. But when you're in here, you can either browse, there's browse options, or if you know the title or the, the name, you can do a search that way. A really cool thing about this database is you can also search by advisor. So you could put in your advisor's name and 
see other dissertations that um, he or she have approved. Of course, there's other ones, there's abstract, you could search by degree, and there's other different, different types of things. But if you just wanna do a regular, let's just say I, I know the title of a dissertation, um, I can put that in here. And it's gonna bring up the full text PDF of the dissertations and theses. So you can click on that. And I know it's a little small um, on this screen, but you can see this is a PhD one and you can see 461 pages that you could read right online. So the nice thing about this ProQuest database is that other people who subscribe to this database can also read your, the dissertations and theses too. So it's a really fantastic resource that you can get in, you can see other people's dissertations and theses and they can see ours too. And then of course, when you're done, you can go back to the results and you can find another one to read. So if you do have any questions, um, please chat us. There is a chat box, um, it's here in the corner. It says, ask a librarian, you can chat us during the week. Um, and then you can also, if you have other questions, we can set up Zoom appointments too. So if you um, are having trouble finding something, just send us an email or chat us and we can meet one-on-one -on -one in Zoom. Other than that, have a great day.